Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your website. So this is the website I'm going to speed up. It's kisha.kithrolens.me. So currently, this is its performance. Okay, it's quite good, although we haven't even yet uh, sped it up. Okay, and on page insights, on desktop is 98, and on mobile it's 76. So we're going to speed it up right away. So in case you're wondering that why is it so fast, we haven't even yet made it faster, it's because this website is currently kind of hosted on Vulture and it's using like speed as its web server. So if you'd like a faster web host, which is most avoid affordable and very secure to manage and fast, of course, you should definitely go to a uh, Vulture. Okay, and there's one one more good thing. I'm an affiliate or yeah. I'm an affiliate on Vulture, which means that if you sign up on Vulture using my referral link, which is this one, which will be in the description, you're going to get $100 free credits when you deposit $25 and I'll also earn $25. So we'll both earn, but you earn more. So simply click the link in the description, sign up, deposit $25, get $100, and be able to use those credits for more than a year because. Here the servers cost about six dollars. So currently the server I'm using is a VPS. It's about six dollars per month, and I've got three websites on it, and it's still faster. The CPU usage is still in less than five percent. So let's continue. So this is its current performance. So the first thing we're going to do now is to install at speed. So we're only going to use one plugin. We're not going to install a lot of plugins to make it faster. Okay, it's so because we're using at speed and at speed has got its own plugin to make your website faster without having to use other plugins at all. So to do all that, just simply scroll to plugins and click on add new plugin. And we're going to search for open at speed. Okay, scroll the right speed cache and I'm going to click on install and I'm going to click on activate. Okay, so at speed is activated. So all I have to do now is come over to dashboard over here. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on general and I'm just going to enable this. Since we do not have a domain key, I'm simply going to click on request domain key over here. Okay, so we just have to wait for some seconds and it will be given to us. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this button over here. Okay, so when you, once you install and activate right speed, it's going to enable this for us. So as you are speeding up your website, it's good that you always have to change or you always have to check if your website is still loading okay and if nothing is broken. Okay, so as you can see, everything just okay. Let's check if we've got some console errors before we continue any further. Okay, so as you can see, we have no errors in console, so everything is just perfect. So let's continue with the optimization. So here, everything is done. We're going to go to the next tab. Here, just leave everything the way it is, as well as here. As well as here, so I'm going to enable this and I'm going to enable this as well and simply going to click on save. So let's reload the page and see if everything is just working as usual. Okay, everything is just okay and no errors recorded in the console. So the 
Next thing we're going to do is object car object cache. We're just going to turn it on, and I'm just going to click on save. So let's reload the page again. We we'll see if everything is just okay. Well, everything is still okay. No errors yet. So we're going to enable browser cache as well. Okay, before I continue, I forgot to tell you one more thing. So when you go to GT Matrix and you go to the waterfall, you can see that this website currently has a lot of uh, requests of about 44 requests. So we're going to reduce this request maybe to less than 10 and our website will be more faster. So let's continue. So I'm going to enable this and I'm going to click on save changes. The other thing we're going to do is okay uh, for now we're going to leave this the way they are okay since we've got WooCommerce installed here we will have to enable this to on so they are already on so there's nothing you have to do okay so let's reload the page again we see if everything is okay yes and it is okay okay so the other thing we're going to do is a CDN so I'm going to make another video probably tomorrow on how you can get the CDN, connect and everything else you need to know. So the other thing we need to do is image optimization. So for us to use image optimization, we first have to have our domain key in the general tab here. Okay, so our domain key is here that's been given to us already. So what we're going to do now is go on and do some image optimization although our website currently has no images on it so just we just have to make sure that all that is okay because as time goes on we're going to be uploading more images so i'm going to enable this and to save up if you'd like to save on your storage you can just simply click on okay then i'm going to click on here as well on as well here and i'm going to click on save so now our website is going to support webp images the other thing we have to do now is the page optimization and i'm guess it's the last thing we're going to do okay so here we're going to minify our css and the inline css code simply going to click on now since our website has a lot of requests so once we click on combine our request will be minimized and yeah the guess we're going to enable this too we're going to enable this as well and this and this and this mm, yeah then i'm going to click on save okay let's try to check out the page if everything is loading okay Okay, so everything seems to be okay. Um, although the admin bar is not loading, I guess I know where the problem is. So, the, so uh, when you notice something like that, like a problem, you simply have to okay, so simply have to go back to your previous settings. So I'm going to click on ASI. Then I'm going to click on save off here and I'm going to save changes. So let's try to load this page again. Uh, okay, let me just do this. Okay, and wait for it to load. Okay, done. So the other thing we're going to do now is uh, is it's okay. Here we already saved. 
So now we're going to optimize our JavaScript. So we're going to minify our JavaScript. We're going to combine it, combine it as well, and we're going to enable it with deferred and default. We're going to click on save. And the thing we're going to do now is we're going to optimize. We're going to minify our HTML as well, and we're going to enable this. I'm going to remove query strings as well. I think. Okay, I'm going to enable this as well. Although it does slow up the website sometimes. Google phones, you're kind of using Google phones. I don't think we're going to remove that. And I'm going to click on save. And let's try to reload the page if everything is working okay. Okay, well, everything is. Nope, everything is not really working okay. So, once you notice something like this, which is happening, simply have to uh, leave the way everything was and try to see where the problem really is. So, I'm going to just leave everything off, off, and see where the problem is. Then, I'm going to enable them one by one again. Okay, so. These icons are now appearing because they disappeared that day. So let's try saving one by one. Okay, let me try the HTML minify. Let's try to reload the page again. We see. Okay, so the HTML minify is not the problem. Let's try the DNS prefetch control and go to click on save. And we're going to click on reload. Okay, so the icons are still appearing over here, so everything is okay. Let's try the query strings removal and we're going to click on save. Okay, everything is still okay. Okay, so let's try the the load Google Forms as you I'm going to click on save and I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to reload the page okay everything seems to be okay then probably we're going to remove the wordpress emoji and the no scripts tag and we're going to click on save then we're going to reload this page and see what happens everything is just okay Alright, so we're going to go to the media settings. Okay, so we want to reload, let's reload our images so that they can load when the page has completely finished loading. Then we're going to enable this as well. And this as well, and this, and I'm going to click on save changes. Here we're going to leave the way it is, nothing to do. Okay, so if I've got a logo, you can simply paste in the URL of the logo so that it doesn't get the zero loaded. So grab it across here, we're going to enable it, and here as well, and here we're going to click on, and we're going to click on save. Okay, so the last thing now to do, yeah, I guess we are done with everything. So let's reload the page and see for ourselves. Okay. So now let's try to retest our website and see if what we have done was worth it. So I'm going to click on retest in the new tab. Okay, and I'm going to retest the same website again in the new tab hmm. okay so this is the old performance report so this is the old performance and our TTFB is 622 well here it's 469 so well that was a good job so let's head over to the so the CDN we're going to do it probably tomorrow 
okay not so bad so let's go to the performance tab so the first wanted to paint 1.1 second how about here 1.3 okay well there's some great improvement over here what about the structure the structure of the scene everything seems to be okay now let's go to the waterfall so we currently have 13 request and 1.6 mb and compressed then the old one has got 44 request and about 1.6 mb and compressed so you see so we have decreased our request to 14 from 44 which is good so this really worked out for us so these ones so most of these are just fonts yeah the last fonts and some javascript files okay this is good not really bad okay so performance is 94 the old one is 91 start to 90 here 96 so this is very good let's now go on to page insights you see so this is the old reports on mobile is 76 on desktop is 98 let's go to the new one so on mobile is 97 on desktop it's 100 percent you see so this is how you split up your website with only one plugin yeah so in the next videos i'm going to show you how you can speed up adsense ads and everything else you need to know so make sure that you like this video okay comment if you have a question um share if you'd like to share all the links will be in the description Bye for now.